Any brand, everywhere. Amongst all watches, Titan is the winner of the Red Dot Design Award, which is equivalent to the Oscar Award in the film world and holds the record of the slimmest watch in the world. Titan is the fifth largest watchmaker in the world, sold in 32 countries and has over 1,000 varieties catering to more than 135 million customers worldwide. Why don't you be one of them? Titan is now in Bhutan with Kushu Enterprise, the sole distributor. Visit us at Kelwang Building near Clock Tower in Thimpu. We have genuine Titan watches for all, from school-going children to office goers to armed force personnel to sportsmen with contemporary to classic designs. You can get your choice of watch at Titan. Get your Titan from Tashi Commercial Corporation in Penciling, Gelifu, Samdup Jongkar, Paro and Thimpu, Bhutan Distributor in Penciling, Choden Songkang in Mongar, Tsering Doji General Store in Tashigang, and Royal Bhutan Army Canteen in Thimpu. A Titan watch is not only a timepiece, but also a piece of jewellery with a sentimental value. Get a jewel for yourself and for your loved ones at MRP, ranging from 450 to 25,000 Neutron. When you choose Titan, you are choosing a lifetime companion you can depend on every day and every season. and welcome to Do You Know Your Child. I'm your host, Shoni. Good parenting involves loving and giving careful attention to the needs of the children in order to achieve the complete growth of the child. In the last show, our participants made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. Uh, my commitment for the Kiva is that on the daily basis, I will have some time for her to read so that she would improve on her reading skills. Book is talking about moments beyond the classrooms, about the youth and career goals. This is the watch I got from Titan and I really loved it. It's white in color, the silver dots inside and I really like to thank the VBS people and even the Do You Know Your Child and thank you Titan and I got this books also. I would really like to thank Do You Know Your Child. Thank you and hope you enjoyed my episode. Bye. After all, children will grow up to be parents one day and if we take the time to invest in our children today, they will grow up to be role model parents starting a positive cycle that will ultimately benefit the nation. Let's see which family we have today. Hello, uh, my name is uh, G.P. Powdell. I'm a teacher in Kabisai, Mrs. Punaka. Uh, I have uh, two little daughters. And then the first one is Anissa, eldest one. And then the younger one is uh, Sriyasa. I'm coming with Anissa in this zoo, and I'm very happy to be the part of this zoo. This is my room and I like my room very much because I have a big bed and I have many teddy bears. And, and this, this room, I don't like people making it messy. Let's welcome our first participant, Dad GP, and ask daughter Anisha later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to the show. And my first question, as always, is do you know your child? Uh, I should say that I know her to some extent. Okay, all right. Um, tell me something about your family, La. Her mother is also a teacher. Okay, all right. We are a family of teachers. And then I have two daughters. You're, you're a teacher too? Yeah. I'm okay, all right. Teacher. Two teachers, two daughters. Daughters, that's... Okay, all right. And where do you live? 
Uh, we we stay in Kabisa MSS Punaka. Oh, okay, in Punaka. Punaka. Oh, okay, all right. So um, this is the second time we've had um, a guest that is outside Thimpu. We normally have a lot of um, people who live in and around Thimpu, but this is the first time we're having from Punaka, so welcome to the show. Um, have you watched the show before? Uh, I have watched one or two uh, shows before. Okay, uh, all right. And then a few uh, in the YouTube as well. Oh, all right, yeah. okay. Um, so as a teacher, what do you think of the show? How could we maybe do uh, uh, improve on the show? Though? As a teacher, I feel that this show uh, provides a very good platform to learn about, learn about our children mm -hmm. and uh, to uh, know their whole, uh, dreams and aspirations mm -hmm. so that uh, they can become a productive and useful citizen in the future. Yeah, and this yeah. show particularly is about parenting um, and their children, but it could also be relevant for, I, th I guess, teachers and students too, do you think? Very well relevant because uh, in the school we need to always deal with the kids mm -hmm. and then it's uh, very important for a teacher to understand their children mm -hmm. until and unless we understand them I think we cannot uh, uh, reach to each one of them and That's we cannot give what we wanted to give them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that was very insightful and now um, we're gonna, I'm going to explain to you the rules of the show. Uh, I have 10 questions with me here. I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you. And then right after you finish answering them, we'll have your daughter come over and then she'll answer the questions. And after that, we'll tally the answers and that'll be your score. Okay? Yes. You ready, La? Uh, I'm ready. Okay. Your first question. What is her favorite thing to do after school? Well, after school, she loves to play with her friends. Okay. And of course, uh, to watch TV. I see. All right. So when when you say uh, she loves playing with her friends, do you mean her neighbors or does she have friends come over? Uh, she plays with her neighbor as mm -hmm. well, but then uh, she has some particular friends who come uh, over who to her come place to her, and then they play together. Okay. All right. So watching TV and playing with uh, with her friends. Yes. All right. Question number two: What does your child do before she goes to bed? She's still watching the TV. <laughs> oh, okay. So she so, puts herself to sleep uh, uh, watching TV. Watching TV. All right. Question number three. Who is the strictest parent in the house? Is it you or your wife? Uh, my wife. Okay, all right. Question number four. Who is her favorite teacher? Uh, her favorite teacher is uh, Ma'am Ugendolma. Who is she? English teacher. Okay, all right. Question number five. How many aunts and uncles does your child, Anisha in this case, have? Uh, from my side, uh, how many uncles? Uh, five uncles. Five uncles. Are yeah. you excluding yourself? So you have five brothers? Uh, yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> and then five uh, aunts. Wow, you come yeah. from a really big family, all yes. right. So five brothers and five sisters five you sisters. have. sisters. Oh, wow, okay. So that's just from your side. <laughs> and what about you from your wife's side? Uh, from my wife's side, uh, there are uh, four sisters. Four okay, aunts, four sisters. Sisters, uh, and then. Uh, that's three excluding brothers. your wife. Excluding my wife. Okay, four sisters and. And uh, three brothers. Brothers. Wow. Okay, so eight uncles and nine aunts. aunts. Okay. All right. Wow. I'm going to try and help her count, but I think that's a huge number. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you said she has a lot. So a lot. if she says a lot. I'll take that into consideration, but if she gives me a particular number, I would want uh, it to be a little uh, in and around um, nine and eight. Eight <laughs> uncles, right? <laughs> oh, it's confusing me. Right. Question number six. What would your daughter rather do? Would she like, uh, does she like doing dishes uh, or clean her room? She would prefer to do the dishes. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can she though? Do you uh, think she can? She doesn't do, but then if given the choice, she would uh, go for that. I think I was also like that. Till I wasn't capable of doing dishes, I was so interested um, to wash the dishes. But as soon as I knew how to do it, as soon as I could do it, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, all right, so doing dishes. Question number seven. Who is her best friend? Kinle Chuki. Kinle Chuki and? Uh, her classmate and uh, Pema Yudin. Okay, both of them. Kinle Chuki and Pema, Pema Yudin. Yudin. All right, both classmates. Both classmates. Question number eight, what is your child most interested in right now? She's uh, 
interested in playing with the friends and cousins. Okay, all mostly. right. Is there um, any particular topic, any particular, um, maybe a Disney character, maybe a film, maybe any show, maybe a hobby that she's really, it's something new to her and she's been doing it time and again, or maybe singing her favorite song? Well, she likes uh, drawing. Oh, okay. And then, of course, uh, she will be busy watching her favorite uh, show, Pokemon. Oh, okay, all right. That's <laughs> good. All right. So, drawing Pokemon. Pokemon. All right. Question number nine. Who is the child's favorite singer? I'm not uh, very sure about it. Okay. Does she hum uh, at she, home? She sings. She what sings, kind of song does she sing? Uh, rhymes and then some oh, okay. English songs. Yeah. Okay. But you wouldn't know the singer? Uh, she, she must not be knowing the singer. Oh, okay. As I do, but then she sings. I see, all right. Okay, if she gives me a name of a singer, then I can't give you a point. But if she says, I don't have a favorite singer, I'll give you the point, okay? Uh, yes. Okay. Question number 10. What is your child's favorite toy? What does she like to play with? Barbie dolls. Barbie dolls. Okay, all right. With this, you've uh, answered all the 10 questions. Now we're going to have your daughter come here and she'll answer th these 10 questions. Anisha, right? Yes. Okay, Anisha, before we move on with the show, please introduce yourself. My name is Anisha Powell. I am eight years old. I am in class three. My school's name is Kavisa Middle Secondary School in Punaka. Okay. I am very happy to come to Vivas. Oh, thank you very much. And we are very happy to have you here too. Okay. Now, Kavisa in Punaka, do you like that place? Yes. Okay, that's good. And you're the first, uh, I just told your dad that you two are the first guest from Punaka. We yes. hope that Punaka will be encouraged by the presence you've made here. And we'll have a lot, hopefully we'll have lots of okay. uh, guests from Punaka. Okay, pray okay. for that. <laughs> All right, so tell me, why did you decide to come to the show? Because I like Pivas. Oh, you to like come to Pivas. Oh, okay, that's good. Have you come here before? No. Is this your first time? Yes. Are you a little nervous? Yes. A little, right? But that's all right. Being a little nervous is totally fine. Of course. Okay. Okay. So, um, I'm going to ask these 10 questions to you. Okay. Though. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. What is your favorite thing to do after school? To play. Oh, okay. What do you play normally? Play games. Who do you play games with? With my sister. Okay, all right. Question number two. What do you do before you go to bed? I... Dinner. You eat dinner and then? I change my dress and sleep. Okay, all right, good. Question number three. Who is the strictest parent in the house? Mom. Why do you think she's strict? Because she's cold. <laughs> okay, all right. Because she says, okay, this is the rule, you need to follow that, right? Yes. She's the one who keeps you all in line. Yes. Okay, all right. Question number four. Who is your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Ma'am Ugandama. Why do you like her? Because her subject is very easy and she's not strict. Oh, okay, that's good. I always like a not so strict teacher. I love that. Yes. Question number five. How many aunts and uncles do you have? So we're going to start with your dad. Okay. How many uncles do you have from your father's side? Six. You have six uncles? from your dad's side. And how many aunts from your dad's side? Four. Four. So four sisters from your dad's side and six brothers from your dad's side. Now let's go to your mom's side, okay? How many brothers does your mom have? Three brothers. Three brothers, okay. So now we have six brothers from your dad's side plus your three from your mom's side. So we have nine, nine uncles, right? Now let's count your mother's sisters, okay? How many sisters does she have? Four sisters from my mother. Okay, so four sisters from your mother. And how many sisters from your dad? Maybe five. Five. So nine. Is that the number? So nine uncles mm -hmm. and nine aunts, right? If you are given the choice to do one of the two, which one would you do? Would you rather wash dishes or would you clean your room? Clean my room. You like to clean your room? Why? 
Because it's my room. <laughs> what about the dishes? It's not yours. <laughs> you don't like doing dishes? No. Okay, all okay. right. Question number seven. Who is your best friend? Glitchy and Pimaidu. Why do why why are they your best friends? Because they are nice to me. Okay, good. Question number eight. What are you most interested in right now? Reading. You like reading, okay. Anything else? Okay, all right. You you enjoy reading? Yes. That's a very good habit. So you need to keep that up, okay? Okay. Question number nine. Who is your favorite singer? No. You don't have one? That's no. completely fine, okay? I don't have one. Okay, that's completely fine. Question number 10. What is your favorite toy? Barbie dolls. Barbie dolls. Do you have a lot of Barbie dolls? No. No? How many do you have? I don't know. Oh, but you like playing with them? Yes. Okay, that's good. When I was young too, I never had any Barbie dolls. And um, I actually didn't like playing with them. I loved playing with the... It's really ridiculous. I, The pistols and the little the gadgets that normally boys play with. I, I used to love playing with them. G.I. Joe's, the little He-Mans and all that. <laughs> but... Uh, I hope you get a Barbie, uh, Barbie doll, right? Uh, someday soon, all right? Do you play with your friends? Yes. With that? Okay, all right. Well, you've answered all the 10 questions and now it's time to take a look at the score. What is her favorite thing to do after school? Play with her friends. To play. What does your child do before she goes to bed? Watching the TV. Dinner. Who is the strictest parent in the house? Is it you or your wife? My wife. Mom. Who is your favorite teacher? Ma'am Ugandolma. Ma'am Ugandolma. How many aunts and uncles does your child have? Eight uncles and nine aunts. Mm -hmm. Nine uncles mm -hmm. and nine aunts. What would your daughter rather do? Does she like doing dishes or clean her room? Do the dishes. Clean my room. Who is your best friend? Kilechiki, Pema Yudin. Kilechiki and Pema Yudin. What is your child most interested in right now? Drawing. Reading. Who is your child's favorite singer? I'm not very sure about it. No. What is your child's favorite toy? Barbie doll. Barbie doll. I have the score with me. Mm. And let's take a look at the answers that your father wasn't able to correctly answer, okay? What does your child do before he or she goes to bed? You said watching TV, um, but you said you eat dinner and you change and you sleep. But your dad said you watch TV. Is that true? Sometimes. Sometimes. All right. Okay. That's totally fine. So your dad was not able to answer that. Okay. So no points for that. Then, uh, how many aunts and uncles do you have? I know that's a huge question for you. I did not know your parents had so many siblings. Your your dad said nine aunts and eight uncles. You said nine aunts and nine uncles. <laughs> Who's right? Are you right? Because sometimes the, ch the child is right here. She said nine? Nine uncles and nine aunts. You said nine aunts, but eight uncles. How many brothers mm. do you have, La? I have uh, five brothers. So your dad has five brothers, okay? Yeah. Then, how many brothers does your wife have? She has uh, three. Three. So that makes... <laughs> did you inc did you include include your eight, dad also? Eight. <laughs> eight. I think she might have done that. Yeah. <laughs> so you have eight uncles and nine aunts. Okay. The other question was, what would your daughter rather do? Wash dishes and clean uh, yeah. her room. Your dad said you would want to do the dishes, but you said you'd love to clean your room. So no points for that. The last question is, which is. What is your child most interested in? Your dad said playing with friends, watching TV, Pokemon, and drawing. Um, but you said reading, so no points for that. What I have here is six. All right, so that is your score, which is really good, right? Are you happy with your score? Okay, good. All right, now we have come to the segment where both of you will make a commitment. You as a parent okay. and you as a lovely daughter that you are, okay? Now, we're going to start with your commitment first. Any change that you think you should make as a parent or maybe as a family member? As a parent, as a father, maybe I should be giving more time. Mm -hmm. uh, I should be spending more time with her, especially uh, with her studies. Yeah, I, I should be helping more. 
because of my own work, maybe I am not being able to help her mm -hmm. much with the homeworks and all. Oh, I think I should okay. do that. I think that's very important. So now your dad has promised that he will spend more time with you, okay? And he'll be able to help you with your homework and, um, and anything else. Anything you need, you need to talk to your dad, okay? okay. And your mom. Now for you, I know you guys are just perfect. Children are just perfect, I know that. Uh, but even if you are perfect, it will still be nice to improve and do better, right? Become yes. a good person, right? So to, in that, um, um, hoping to achieve that goal, we have three commitments for you. Now these okay. are commitments your dad has given to us, okay? He thinks you need to improve in these three areas. Okay. I will not ask you to pick all of these three. You'll just pick one yes. and you'll have to promise us on TV, okay, that you're going to do that. The question, are okay. you ready? Yes. All right. Let's so pick one. Okay. I would like to, my daughter to spend more time in her studies. Okay. So, um, I know you might be studying already, but your dad wants you to do better, okay? So, okay. Um, do a lot of studying, reading, writing. It's practice that makes you perfect, isn't it? So, can you promise to do that? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, that's very good. Now, we have come to the segment called um, With Love, where, what, do you know what that seg segment is? No. no, okay, all right. Well, um, this is where you read your letters. So we'll start with the father, Tupkush. So, okay, please go ahead now. Let me take this opportunity through the national television to let you know how much you mean to me. To me, your mother and your little sister. Your coming to our family had made our life beautiful and worth living. Your presence alone inspires me to be optimistic about life, no matter in whatever difficult situation I may be. Your loving hug and a sweet kiss provide me all the comforts of this world and, uh, and heal the deepest of wounds. Your naggings are the spices of my life and your tantrums tolerable. I know you have all the qualities of being a good human being and I'd like, I would love to see you growing up to become a good human being who is useful to the society. Sometimes I get irritated by your unruly behavior, which simply shows how much I love you and care you. However you are, however, however you are, you are my sweet little daughter and I love you more than anything else in this world. When your mother scolds you, you may think that she loves you less than I do. But it is not true. She scolds you because she loves you. Your mother and your little sister, Sriya, love you as much as, as much as I love you. You are wonderful and thank you for being in our family. And on top of that, thank you for being my daughter with love. Yours, Baba, GP Paula. So sweet. Do you actually think your mom loves you less? Just because she's strict? Oh, no. I think if if that was true i mean that cannot be true because you have two parents right mom and dad one has to be strict for other the other to be a little relaxed and lenient the other person has to be the strict person Yembe? so you never think that of course I, I can guarantee you that your mom loves you equally as much as your dad does of course all right your turn now dear baba you are loving and caring you are my hero. I know all fathers love their children, but you are the best father in the world. Thank you for making time to be with me and my sister Shriyasa, your loving daughter, Anisha Powder. All right, that's very sweet too. Okay, um, I love this segment because um, when did you write this letter? That time. Okay, that time, all right. <laughs> I bet this must be your first letter to your daughter. Yes. See, <laughs> this is the first ever letter your dad has written to you, which is why we love this segment.
This is very special to us. Oh. Because um, these days we never write letters. We don't, yes. I mean, we text each other. Yeah. We're in this room and, uh, and your uh, father or mother is in the other room and we text each other saying, do you want to go? Let's go. Let's eat, right? I mean, it's become very detached now. Yeah. So I love letters and I'm so glad you guys took, that, took the time to write this. And of course, uh, our letters are handwritten. Yeah, that's what yeah it, it gives you a personal touch, right? Yeah. I think typing, I think it takes away. Um, I have these books for you. Please read it to your, um, you said your English is, uh, English is your favorite subject, right? I bet you can read these books to your younger sister, Shriya, right? Okay, and here is a watch for you. you I don't think this would fit Shriya, so it's just meant for you, okay? <laughs> but the books you can definitely share with your mom, with your sister, and your friends. Look up. All right, with this, we've come to the end of the show. Thank you both so much for coming to the show and make uh, representing Punaka. <laughs> Thank you. All right. As a parent, you hear their first words. You're the first to see them walk. As a parent, it is your responsibility to teach them how to make the right decision and to teach them how to do the right things. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of this show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and bye-bye.